This is the HSU 5327 selfie stick, uh, one of a few uh, models that they make. And uh, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly. I searched low and <laughs> high and low for a selfie stick that was uh, not only going to not break the bank, but uh, that was waterproof. And um, I reasoned after doing a little research, you know, ideally, why wouldn't I want a selfie stick that also has a tripod capability? Uh, believe it or not, it was very hard to find one uh, that had both uh, just a regular selfie stick capability and tripod. Um, in the end, it was sort of a compromise. And also, by the way, I just wanted one that had good reviews all, all around, and that was super hard to find, surprisingly, uh, for a selfie stick. Anyway, I did find the HSU. It does have a tripod feature. Uh, the only drawback is that it's a bit of a compromise is that you can't have um, you know the strap on at the same time. It's basically um, w one or the other. I have this connected to a, uh, a camera piece at the moment, but normally to make it a tripod, you just have to unscrew uh, this little handheld strap. Now, by the way, this strap is super important. Why? Because not only does it have this thick lanyard strap, um, which comes in very handy when you're snorkeling and diving, but most importantly, this strap cinches. You know, press this button, you can tighten it up around your wrist. Uh, believe it or not, that's really useful when you're snorkeling or diving because there are times when you do need that second hand or you just don't want to be holding in your hand anymore and you want to be able to swim for one or the other. Normally, uh, if you just drop it, it's going to fall, you know, you risk falling to the bottom of the ocean or at least, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet down. With this cinch, um, no chance of losing it. You can just let it float freely uh, in the water and it's not a big deal. And also, I didn't add this. This comes with a little... Uh, Thing for extra protection if you want to just strap it to your belt or something like that or any part of your uh your life vest something like that a pvc um what i didn't like oh so yeah going back you just have to unscrew this little piece here oh, i've got it in really tight because i was underwater one thing you'll notice a little bit of rust here and uh, it's supposed to be waterproof. It is in some sense, it is in others, in the sense that uh, there is a little bit of rust. And I took a lot of time to wash this out. Every time I used it, I washed it out with fresh water. And I'll get to one of the downsides um, in a second about that whole flushing and bringing it underwater. It is weatherproof in the sense that um, not everything rusted. This bolt here, uh, you can see, is not rusted. This, however, did. Water also got in here. But anyway, to make it a tripod, screw this part in. And not only is it a tripod, but it's uh, you know, a telescoping tripod, which I think is great. Because when you're on vacation or out and about, there are times when you're going to want you know, the tripod capability. The only downside, you got to you know, unscrew it and screw it. Or you can just keep it like that, I suppose, you know, if you don't need the wrist strap. Bit of a compromise, but not a big deal. Um, going back, I said water did get in here, um, so that's why I kept this super tight. In addition, and this is one of the downsides, I use this underwater quite a bit, and a lot of water ended up getting inside this. You could, when you're underwater, you actually see bubbles coming out because the water was going in. The air was, it was displacing the air. Uh, so, what do you have to know when you get back after you're done flushing it out? You can't just stick this in your backpack or uh, any kind of bag because there will be water that is accumulated inside there. You really have to shake it out, keep it open. Maybe when you get back to wherever you're going, your house, your apartment, your hotel room, and let it dry out. And just make sure it's, you know, nothing in there, because uh, it does accumulate quite a bit of water. You'll get a little pool. Uh, for attaching, um, it does come with a uh, camera attachment. To use the camera attachment, you need to add this little piece here. This allows this by uh, putting this through here. And this was tricky. When I uh, first tried to do this, you have to unscrew this, take this all the way out. Not a big deal, but putting this through the first time was quite difficult, and still it takes a lot. Of, it takes a bit of effort to, you know, put that in. It even uh, strips some of that plastic, but uh, eventually it does work. You line up the holes, and then slip this back through. And notice I was saying before, there's actually no rust on here, surprisingly. So I'm not sure why some parts did get rusted out and others did not. Let's go on this side. And now, with this, you can attach this to any kind of device. Some GoPros will go directly on here. Other types of, you know, like this need to be screwed on, as do like SLR cameras. 
um, and some other you know types of things so that goes on like that that would screw on um, now to tighten this this will go all the way in if I have it right which I don't have it lined up <laughs> now I do you can see it better through here this will go all the way through and then comes with this little key which is a little bit annoying you don't you're not going to need this all the time um, hopefully you know once you attach it that's it but this is used to tighten this up and surprisingly you do need this to get it um, properly tight and now I don't have it on right anyway this lines up like that and you can get it nice and tight just a little bit of a wrench it's, it does work what else it also comes with an extra it's kind of a lanyard handle i'm not sure what exactly what this is for because um this is actually going to be once you there's no real way to detach this i guess unless you start using this no not even but you you can't really take this off without undoing this and then there's no place for this to attach so it's not really clear uh what this is for um i suppose you could put it on here but that's not very, <laughs> I wouldn't trust that. So this comes with it, don't really know what it's for. Uh, this seems to be good enough. Um, those are all the parts. Now, as far as uh, how does it work, uh, this can be frustrating a little bit. There, it, It's a minimum of six and a half inches. So from here to here, I got a little tape measure. Just so you see, when they say that, when they're talking about their height, um, it's actually from here. There's just six and a half. They always mean including the handle. So when they say 26 and a half inches, which is the maximum, they're including this handle. Um, when, when really you're, you, when you think about it, you're thinking about it as an extension of your hand. But anyway, the way it locks, it's there are little locks here. You have to twist. It guides you on here. Twist right to lock down. So for here, for example, right now I can slide this up and down. I extend this out, I twist it to the left, and now it's sturdy, will not move. Same thing on this. I twist it to the left, that locks it in place, can't move. Where this one, twist it to the left, locks it in place, um, and then so on and so forth. It's um, a little bit of getting used to. Sometimes it's <laughs> doesn't always cooperate. Um, the only, you know, it's one of the drawbacks, but it, it, over time, I think it gets a little bit smoother and you also just figure out how to work it. Um, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward, really. Um, is it the best? I'm not sure. Does it really do the job for $18.99 or whatever the price? Absolutely. Um, from, a, from a cost perspective, in terms of what these other uh, selfie sticks cost for what they consider waterproof, that's up in the air. I don't really know how a non-waterproof would work. I mean, part of the whole key thing is the um, you, you know, the, the, the screws and stuff are supposed to be stainless steel, not supposed to rust. This one did. Uh, maybe that was from what I attached it to, because inside here I see a little bit of rust. Um, we also saw some rust down here, but this main piece did not rust, so go figure. This was a huge factor. This was, this was, this was super important, and um, this is definitely secure. You don't have to worry about losing your GoPro at the bottom of the ocean uh, with this cinching snap, and this is a thick thick lanyard you can get a hold of it same thing even if you have like uh, diving gloves on it's not going to be a problem this little nice feature and um this whole tripod thing it's a bit of a compromise but um i figured worst case you know i can even use this at home if i need an extra tripod uh for you know for for doing zoom calls or a camera or something wherever i'll leave a link down below so you have no issues finding this particular model from hsu and uh for this particular brand from amongst the uh, hundreds of other selfie sticks out there on amazon if you have any questions, I'll uh, leave them in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me.